Okay, um, continuing on the API side. So in 238, we really uh, improved what we call the data store API. So the data store API is really the internal kind of data store for DHS2, which is available in the API. So the um, data store is typically used by web applications, web apps, web app developers um, who develop apps on top of DHS2 and need a way to do kind of flexible, um, customizable, lightweight data storage. So that could be you know, saving different types of data models, preferences, settings, and so on for the data for the app. The problem was that the data store API was fairly limited up to now. There wasn't really a way to filter and have you know, large amounts of data and so on. So in, in 238, we added a bunch of features to make it more of a fully fledged data store that can now really be used for more complex data storage needs, more complex data models, which need persistence from that perspective. So the features we added were uh, what we call field filtering. Um, so with the field filtering, you can then basically define which fields to return in the response of the API. This is a bit technical, this is more for app developers. So this works now very much in the same way as the normal metadata API. So it allows you to define which fields in the JSON object you would like to return in the response using the fields uh, parameter. So if you, for instance, have a sort of hypothetical commodities namespace in the, in the API, they can now define that we won't like to have the ID name, brand, batch, uh, and so on in, in the response. Um, we also added paging. So now <clears throat> you can return entries in the data store in, in pages. So you can set the page number and also the page size uh, in the URL using the page and page size query parameters. So this is, of course, very useful if you have a large um, volume of data. So if you have, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of entries in a namespace, then it's not really practical to retrieve all of it. Instead, you would like to to do it in pages. And this is exactly the same way as it works in the normal metadata API. Uh, we also added filtering. So you can say, uh, you can filter on any property. So if you would like to say filter on, let's say the, the ID, or you, you would like to do a like um, filter on the name uh, and so on, then we can also use the filter uh, parameter in the API. And this is, where I have, this is very useful for, let's say web applications that would like to show lists of some kind of entity and then do filtering to find the relevant um, you know, entities in the, in the data store. And we also added sorting. So now you can sort the entries in the, in the namespace uh, by a configurable property. So you can say things like order equals name, descending or ascending. So, um, so that allows you to, again, like if you want to have a predefined order in the lists, it's very handy now to do this on the server as opposed to having to pull out all in the client side and filter. So yeah, so this was a bit technical, but the, the main takeaway here is that now the, the data store is a much more feature rich um, store and can be used for much more complex use cases for from an app development perspective.